Hello everybody, it's your Danky Boy here back with another Game Maker Studio tutorial. And today we're gonna be talking about footsteps that I don't have a lot of time because I have to go to work. Because work sucks. And that's my alarm on my phone as a backup wake up alarm. So that I don't like go so I'm not late to work. So let's get to it. So basically today we're gonna be working on footsteps and like making it so when your guy like walks like when your animation's right it's gonna like do a footstep sound it's gonna change depending on what he's walking on so that's what we're gonna do let me show you what I've got so far so far so we got a sprite of a man SPR man just standing there nothing special then I got a walking animation it's actually four frames but I just extended it out the reason for this is because the four frames like walking at 60 FPS is about as fast as the walk animation is gonna go reason for that is because in doing some testing beforehand slowing down the image speed too much makes it so that for some reason it, you can't like detect like the image that the sprites on and so you like the footsteps don't work so um just make sure w your image speed is like 0 0.5 or 1 something round and even like that so so from what I've done is I've just made it so there's like one of the five six seven of each frame just to make it longer without having to sacrifice image speed. So that's the only important thing you really need to remember there. Uh, then we just got a, a grass block right there, nothing special, and then a metal block just so we have two different surfaces to walk on. Then the other thing I have here is just the sounds. I've got a footstep for grass sound effects. It sounds like this. It's nothing crazy, just a grassy footstep and then I got another one too so that's what we have as far as sounds because those are our two surfaces that we're just gonna work with today and so I just went and found some sounds like that on the internet like I do and uh, we got that stuff going now these are just empty stuff right here I was gonna do like gravity and stuff but I didn't want to mess with it so basically I just got a, a grass object and a metal object you don't need the parrots or anything like that but I mean for in this example but if you're doing like a platformer then of course you're gonna have your blocks programmed the way you want the important part is the part that we're gonna add in today in the create event here I just have a speed variable to adjust how fast the guy moves back and forth um, so that's all I have right there and then I just got this code right here that when I say press left to change the sprite change which way you're facing and then just move your X so I don't have gravity or anything I just have it so that left and right and the same thing over here it just moves him back and forth and then changes his sprite accordingly so he animates properly so you can kind of pause and take a look at that just to see what I have but chances are if you're putting into this into a platformer or like a top-down game or whatever you already have your engine programmed so you just want to add in your footsteps so let me just show you what we have what this all this comes to so then I just have a room that has just blue background and then right here just our services and our guy walking so as you can see we have our guy that walks you know and so pretty easy peasy pretty awesome stuff um so let's get into it so now let's go to our object guy and put in our step event and first off I like to add a new code just to separate different types of code and this I'm gonna call footsteps just so in here I can say movement okay footsteps okay all right then we have <clears throat> in here we're going to say if sprite index equals spr man walk basically if we're animating our walking animation right that's when we want to start doing footsteps because if we're walking um, then we want to say if image index equals zero and we don't want a semicolon there let me show you why this is zero because if we look at the sprite right here nope that's our man we need our walking man um, in watching the animation stuff the point where his foot like hits the ground in the animation is like is it just image zero right and so that's the image I want to detect if for like footsteps and now if your animation was longer and more complicated than where you have like two footstep animation right because I just have the same one that loops that kinda looks like he's could be walking I don't want to spend too much time on it so but basically like so if you had like a second one so say if your image 30 was also another footstep then what we'd want to do is come into our guy and then we saw then we want to say if image index equals zero or image index equals 
um, whoa, uh, typing 30, right? So, so that basically just go along and define any of your frames in your animation where the, your character is actually like stepping. But in our case, we just have image zero. So then we're going to say, and this is the part where we got to find out which surface we're standing on. So I'm going to say if position meaning x y plus 32 because our guy is halfway to the bottom of our guy is 16 pixels and I'm using position meeting so we're going to, I think it's a pixel by pixel basis and then I'm doing 16 more pixels so it's halfway into the block just to make sure that I'm detecting the block right below me but if you're doing like, like a game from like a top down view you just want to do x and y because it's like right where your character is uh, but in our case we want to have our y plus 32 so uh, we're, select, we're seeing the block below us and we're going to text for object block grass and we'll go to our curly brackets right there so then this is another important thing if you go in, into your global game settings and you take a look here at the general section look at this checkbox right here that says use new audio engine basically you want to have this checked pretty much all the time if you have it checked it'll do it I think for all your games um, basically there's like a new audio engine in Game Maker Studio then as opposed to Game Maker Studio 8 now if you're using Game Maker Studio 2 I don't know what uh, that I don't I th I'm pretty sure it just uses the new audio engine so I don't know if you need to worry about that but if you're still using Game Maker Studio like me then uh, then you're gonna wanna have this checked it's much nicer much easier to use and that's what we're gonna be using in this tutorial today um, so basically now we just want to say once we hit that if it's, if it's a grass block below us we want to say audio play sound and then our sound ID is going to be sound footstep footstep grass priority zero loops false the priority thing I mean unless you really want to go into it you can look it up to really take a look but really you could just do zero to look at the priority and looping because we don't want it to loop over and over you just want to do false then you just want to do the same thing for your other uh, blocks and stuff. So for instance, we're going to do our metal block now. So then we can say if position x, comma y plus 32, and then object block metal. Then we can say audio play sound sound footstep metal zero false. Just like that. And then you could, of course, add more for different surfaces that you have. Um, but this is the way you could do it. Now you could do it another way too, where it doesn't—it's not based off your animation. Uh, you could do it where it's alarm-based or something like that. Uh, there's different ways to do it, but this is this is your main thing right here. So the, the way that it triggers your footsteps is—you know—it's up to you. This is just the way that I was doing it, but it does have some problems, and I'll show you and I'll show you them. But this, however, works. And so let's go into it and check it out. <clears throat> Just to make sure, because I mean, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know, sometimes it don't. This is actually the second time of me recording this one because it got a little weird. Anyways, we're walking though. And then we walk on the metal. Good, good, good. So that's it. That's it pretty much. But here's one of the problems that if you just sit there and you go like back and forth, you can trigger the footstep thing a lot. So, um, of course, you can come up with your own solutions for that, of course. But that's just, that's one of the things I've noticed as well. So, but that's just, that's the basics of it. So hopefully you can use that to work with your game and to figure out, oh, there he goes, bye-bye. Oh, here he is, he's back and whatnot so you can have some nice footstep sounds in your game so that's it for me this has to be short because I gotta go like <laughs> right now but it's okay so thank you so much for watching and please if you like you enjoyed this and subscribe if you want to see more of this crap <clears throat> always remember to have a complete breakfast please do that as for me though I've got to go to work so I'll see you guys next time adios <laughs>